putting the baby mother on and claiming you are still in love with them and all this, that, and the third. Men love to do that shit. I see that shit. Now, I promise you, I am not obsessed with this man. I do love this man. I'm not obsessed with anybody, though. I deserve better. I'm good. I'm off it. You are the one that keeps shit hanging by a thread all the time because you're always dangling the fact that we'll be a family together like a carrot. Who wouldn't want their son to be in a household with a mother and father? Who wouldn't want that? So, of course, I'm going to try. Like, you really take my kindness for weakness and really think because we have a kid... We're f together forever. I'm never going to leave. I might, I might fuck around sometimes, but babe, I, didn't you just say this last week? I would never put that shit on the internet. I would never put no bitch that I, that I went and smashed on the internet. I would never put this bitch on the internet. Hmm. Okay. That's not what I'm seeing though. That's not what I'm seeing though. Cool. Cool. I told him, this really what you're going to do. You're going to not be there for Christmas for your son. That's it. You're about to leave us stranded in LA with not shit and go off, have a little party, have your album party. Cool. I see this bitch. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Love you. On her stories at this man's album release party. Trifling. That's why I decided to do what I did and go the fuck off because I'm tired of this shit. I am tired of this shit. I promise I do not give a fuck. Y'all want to be together, be together. He's going to do the same shit to you. How you get them is how you lose them. And you know how the fuck you got him. You know how the fuck you got him. And you're not even the only one. I could name six or seven other girls that he fucks while he's fucking you even right now. Even right now. But I'm not even going to expose those girls because really it's his fault. And I'm only exposing you because you wanted to... You wanted to do this shit in everyone's face, Brandy. So now you're in the mix. I will spare the others, but please know you're not even the only girl that he fucks. Not even the only girl. But, pfft, crazy. Crazy. Wild as fuck. Shit is so lame. It's just, it's just lame. Please know these two people knew exactly what they were doing. You've been doing it while I was pregnant. This man didn't even come to see his son be born. He went to Philly to play the PlayStation with little Uzi. He thought that was more important than seeing his son be born. And I had a scheduled C-section, by the way, because my son was so big that they were like, you can't have a natural birth. I'm not still with him, in case you're wondering. No, I'm not still with him. I have to go do business. I didn't want to be a hater. Let him go out there. They thought my son wasn't his son, his fans, because he wasn't there the weekend that he was born. Yeah, I know, because he isn't shit. Not because he's not his son. Not because he's not his son, though. Just because you, you wanted to play the PlayStation, though. Who misses their son's first, their first son being born? It's COVID. He's the only person I can... You can only pick one person during COVID when you're having a baby to be on your, like, approved list. Of course, I picked my son's father to come and be there, but he was busy, apparently. Imagine. Imagine spending time playing PlayStation with your friend instead of seeing your first son be, be born. Make that make sense. I, I can't. I can't. Y'all can say what you want. I'm never writing a song about this. Don't worry. I have nothing to promote. Don't worry. I'm just pissed the fuck off and I'm tired of it. I've been so nice, like, behind the scenes, trying to wait for this man to get his shit together. He's never going to get his shit together. The only thing that he cares about is what the world thinks of him because he's a fucking narcissist. So I want the world to know the way you really are today and maybe you can be accountable and maybe you can be a better dad and maybe you can do the shit that you say you're going to do because every single part of this year has been bullshit and every single thing this man said would happen has not happened i'm done with this shit so since you care so much about the world what the world thinks and i know you're looking at all your tweets because your album dropped Look at this shit and maybe be accountable because I know it's not just me that thinks that what, what you are doing and what you have done all year and the girl too, is, it is wrong. There's no need to 
lead somebody on, especially when I have a kid, like, yo, I just want to live my life and be happy and love somebody that loves me. And if that's not you, it's all good. Keep it pushing. I've said it a million times, but you want to come back every time. Please don't. I don't want you to ever be with anybody else. I love you. I've never, you're, it's us forever against the world. And some, I really was being a dumb bitch because I have a child with this man. Not no more though. It's cool. That's why I did what I did last night. Like, it's cool. I'm just about to end it all. And I'll be the up. I'll be that baby mother that you hate. Cool. As long as you're accountable. And as long as you, act, if that makes you actually do the things you need to do for your son, then I'll be that bitch that you hate so much. Go cry about it with Brandy and feel sorry for yourselves. You know what the fuck you were doing, both of you. Y'all ain't shit. Ain't shit. I've sold a lot of albums, millions, and had number one hits in my time. And I was 24, 25 when that was all happening too. The same age that he is. He asked to have a family, begged to have a family. Begged to have a family with me. And then as soon as I got pregnant, it was like, it was kind of like this motherfucker thought that he just had me forever, almost like I can treat her like shit now because she's pregnant and she's stuck. He was never that way during our relationship before my pregnancy he was really great i really loved this man and i think that i held on to it, even though he was treating me like shit during the pregnancy and after i i really romanticized the way our relationship used to be and held held on to that like good part of him hoping that he could be that way again you know and hanging on to his every word and his promises about how he was going to be that person again and be that man that I needed to, him to be for our family. Even in my prime, I never had to treat my family like shit, ever. Sometimes I had to compromise on shit when you're busy like that, sure. And sometimes I had to miss some things, but never to this level. It's not necessary to be this way and also be successful. You don't have to treat your family like shit to be successful. To be number one, you don't have to be trifling as fuck. You're just trifling as fuck because you want to be trifling as fuck. That's your choice. You made your choice. I told you what would happen if you kept being trifling as fuck, both of you. And you got caught out there again. You got caught out there again last night. And so now the world can know about the shit. Shit is so lame. Lame as fuck. Come sign your son's birth certificate, please. I've asked you so many times, your firstborn son. Could you please come and sign your son's birth certificate? I would love that. Would love it. Shit is so whack. And even whack is all the straight fucking men trying to defend this motherfucker. So lame, but I'm not surprised. And I don't give a fuck. If I really gave a fuck, I wouldn't have said what I said. I wouldn't be on here saying what I said. I have had a motherfucking enough. Of course I still love this motherfucker. This motherfucker was still fucking me up until five days ago saying he was in love with me. I have a baby with him. That's why I'm so pissed the fuck off about how deep this whole thing goes. So lame. And I have receipts. Brandy, shut the fuck up. Let's post more if you want to. And don't make Raven and me talk about who you used to fuck and when y'all started fucking and how we know when you started fucking. Because me and Raven will expose you. Me and Raven will expose because we have receipts. So please shut the fuck up. Raven knows. Raven came to the house. You were there in bed. Got kicked out like a fucking whole prostitute on the street. 3 a.m. looking like a dummy. Looking like a dumbass bitch. Mm-hmm. I posted some of the video of her getting kicked out at the end. We can post the whole thing if you want to. But I just, I look kind of ugly in it while I'm screaming at her. So I tried to just like post the pit bit where I didn't look so ugly, but we can post the whole thing later if you want to keep going. Shit is so lame. Shit is lame. I really don't understand how you can ask to have a baby with someone and then when that baby is actually here, you think that you just don't have to be a father because he is a baby and he can't remember stuff. So we just, men don't have to be fathers until the kids two or three, they just get left with the mothers to take care of them all the time. Cool. 
Shit is so lame. And y'all lame as fuck if you defend this man and y'all lame as fuck if you defend this bitch because they knew what the fuck it was. She's not the only bitch, but she's the most trifling of all of them. So we're going to put them both on, on blast today. That's it. Shit is lame. I'm, I'm done with it. And I wish you would say something, Jordan. I wish you would because you know that I could say so much worse about you so much worse and you know that i have receipts and i know you know i have receipts so i wish you would say shit about me say shit say a motherfucking thing about me i dare you and i'm gonna put all that shit out there all the rest of the shit out there and it's not no cheating shit i'm gonna put all the other shit out there and your friends ain't shit too because they all follow this bitch and know what's going on and allow it to happen y'all all aren't shit all of you aren't shit Fuck you and fuck your motherfucking friends and fuck this bitch. Suck a dick and die. That's it. Merry fucking Christmas. By God damn. It's 1030. I'm about to go clean up all the wrapping paper in my living room and find somewhere to get some food. Wake my son up and enjoy the rest of my Christmas. But I hope you're having a great album release and I hope your album does so well. feelings and check it out now the bitter baby mama syndrome now let me explain what that is because from afar you might actually think that it's about a woman who's become bitter because a guy is a deadbeat and won't take care of his responsibility with the child however i'm here to tell you that in most cases that's not what's happening it's usually a woman that's collateralizing a child as some type of ransom as some type of yo know, you know holding something over somebody's head to kind of force the guy to do what they want or be with them. And usually a lot of times the dude is moving on, okay? Now, this is what I believe is happening in this case of Playboy Cardi and, of course, Iggy Azalea, who chose Christmas Day to let off a long slew of tweets and also go live to expose Playboy Cardi, his infidelity, and also basically say he's a deadbeat dad. Now, from afar, and if you listen to this on surface level, you might say, damn, Man, Cardi's a bad parent. He ain't signed a birth certificate. Like, damn, yo, he's not spending time with his child. However, if you really listen closely, you'll see the obvious cues that Iggy Azalea is basically trying to, she's hurt that he moved on. They haven't been together for months. I guess they still do fuck. They do have a child, but not because you get fucked by your ex means y'all together. It's his album release party. Yes, he's going to be with his. New girl, I'm sorry, okay? However, Iggy Azalea, who claims she was aware of Playboy Cardi cheating for all this time, and by the way, the irony, the fucking irony, in actually getting with a nigga named Playboy, like the nigga name is Playboy, Playboy Cardi, and expecting him to be the model citizen and a family man that you would have a child with, not to mention you're much older than him, but of course, of course, women sometimes are delusional. Now. Again, I'm not saying that Playboy Cardi has no fault in this, and we're going to get into some of the tweets in a second, but pretty much Playboy Cardi, you know what I mean? He belonged to the streets before this, and he's at the streets now. Fuck it. Again, the thing with having a child with a man is that it never makes him stay, okay? You might think it's going to make him stay, but it doesn't. And when that doesn't work out, you usually get people who are hurt. It's clear, it's very clear that Iggy Azalea is hurt. Now, This is how she started off her night because she wanted to let it be known how bad of a parent or how bad of a person Playboy Cardi is. But in the end, she actually made herself just look dumb. He's been showing you these colors your whole pregnancy. Why are you exposing him today? Okay, now this is what she said. She hopped on Twitter and she said, I would never decide to do something of my own free will that meant missing a milestone moment with my son. And if you do, you're trash. Too bad you got an album coming out. We can't even come to Christmas with your own son. Imagine not flying out your family on Christmas, but you have the girl you cheated on me my entire pregnancy at your album release party, and magically me and my son can't come through no more. Trash. She continued. She said, and I was going to keep it cute and let you live, but nah, not, not after what I just peeped. That's trifling. To clarify, this man was literally at my house last night telling me he loves me. So this is very much not me being bitter. 
It's me not fucking with trifling ass shit that happens at the expense of my son. Now, I do want to stop there. While she's trying to paint and use the son as the reason why we should feel bad for her situation, she's throwing in these things that don't matter. If y'all are broken up, I don't care even if he lied to your face and said he loved you. Is this about what he's telling you or is he there for his son? He could love you as a baby mom and still go hang out with other chicks. But it's clear that Iggy has some type of false pretense that she thought they were going to be a family or she thought he was going to be with her. That clearly wasn't the case. Now, she continued. She said, and I haven't said anything and I could say a lot more for the longest because I know the Internet won't side with me and that I'm hated. But Christmas and this bitch proud of you and her stories. I've covered for you so long, hoping you do better. A lot of women can relate. By the way, she clarified that she said uh, the child was what Cardi wanted, pretty much basically saying that Playboy Cardi asked her to have a child. Okay? Then she said, this man had a whole family vacation planned 48 hours ago, and I hope this message gets to you, girl, although you did hide in the closet from my housekeeper, so it's not like you have any dignity, I guess. And that's where I pause one more time. Iggy is using the kid as a pawn. Her problem is that the side bitch became the main bitch. Iggy got dropped from the picture and she thought because she could hold it, well, here we got a family, she thought Cardi would stay. If you knew the dude cheated on you your, your whole pregnancy, it's over already. It's over. But if you are still disappointed that, that he's lying to you, that he loves you, or maybe he's not lying, but he loves you, but he's still going to have this other girl who's been fucking your whole pregnancy, you're simply delusional. Again, if you're reading into the tweets on surface level, it seems like an issue with Cardi being a good father. If you really read through it, you see it's clear that Iggy wants to be with this man who clearly does not want to be at least monogamous with her. Now, she continues. She says, everything's not for the net, but at a certain point when someone's just taking crazy advantage, airing it out is all you could do. Good night. And then she came back. She said, this man was in Philly playing the PS5. Oh, shit. Mid-pandemic. The day my son was born, even though it was a scheduled C-section, I had Onyx alone because he was my only visitor approved with COVID. We lived together at that time. Then she, like, starts showing the birth certificate, and she says, I dare you say anything because I could keep going with this for days. She also attacked the side chick. The side chick responded. The side chick basically said she ain't ruined no homes. Listen, man, a bunch of fuckery. Okay, the point is here. While I have some sympathy for Iggy in this whole situation, women have to realize when a dude don't want you. He don't want you. And you can't bully him or cyber bully him or think the fans are going to get on him to be with you. If anything, people just want him to be a good dad. It's clear y'all going to be co-parented. It's clear that maybe you possibly had a child for him thinking that y'all were going to be a long-term thing. It's clear that you probably should have waited till y'all got married or something else before having a child because you did get finessed. You got finessed for your first kid. You got finessed of your age. You got finessed for a lot of stuff. But Cardi moves on as a young bachelor. He has a kid, but every rapper does. And nothing happens. He's with this chick. He'll be with another chick. It looks good for him, okay? My thing is that I understand Iggy's hurt. I'm not even that mad at her for, like, coming out with it, but she's disguising what she really cares about, which is obviously her being fed up with the nigga lying to her as saying that he's some horrible dad. And then, by the way, later on, she did clean it up by saying, hey, they have talked and they're going to work on stuff. But even then, she was a little bit like, you know, hesitant to say it's co-parenting. The nigga don't want you. And even though she was kind of front like she don't want him, it's clear that she wanted him. Mentioning that he was telling her that she, he loves her. Also, like, trying to send these smoke signals to, like, the side girl. Like, yo, if he did this to me, he'll do it to you. Well, let him do it to her. Listen, he just don't want you. And that's a very tough pill to swallow. That's why I'm not judging her too much. But, obviously, she picked a moment that was trying to upstage the biggest moment that Cardi had in a while. Also, she could have said this at any time before, but she waited till then. The thing that pissed her off is the fact that Cardi was with another woman. That's it. That's it. 
It's not about him not being a dad. It's not about him not signing his birth certificate. The kid's been here for a couple months. She ain't take to the net with it for that. She waited for a while. So we'll see what it is, man. Um, a whole lot of red out now. If y'all ain't check it out, I'm on one of the tracks. I'm on control. Um, y'all let me know what the favorite <laughs> track is on, on whole lot of red. Deluxe coming soon. Um, Iggy, I'm gonna send you my condolences. But again, yo, you dated a nigga named Playboy. Bro, come on now. Like, come on. It's like dating a nigga named, yo, like, yo, Killer Ray, and then you're mad he got a body. The fuck are you thinking? I'm just saying. Anyway, get a guy my special guys like. Definitely subscribe to Boys Academics. Let's air some more shit out, Miss Brandy, because I've had more people come forward to tell me more information about this whole shit and how deep it goes. So let's get into it, y'all. Are you ready for the next chapter? So what I'm hearing is that while I was in Brazil last December and Jordan was in Miami recording in the Hit Factory, Little Miss Brandy, you and your friend whose profile name I will get, and yes, I will put you on front street too, that is coming my way soon, were both in the studio, but he wasn't fucking you yet, Brandy. He was fucking your friend who apparently, y'all, real tight, you go everywhere together, he was fucking friend and you were there with her for friend support right now i have always wondered how it came out in december last year that i was pregnant and that i was having a boy so what i'm hearing now is that the reason why that came out is because brandy's friend who was getting fucked in miami while she was there by my man at the time got fucked raw and my man started freaking out saying I'm having a boy, I'm having a boy, this can't, this can't happen, this bitch got to take a plan B, she's got to take a plan B. I guess you took the plan B, right, sweetie, because there's no other baby, I assume. But you both were already in the mix in December while I was five months pregnant, and you very much knew that this man was, had, had a full girlfriend, lived in a house with her, and was having a boy. Y'all both knew that, but you besties that got flown out on some thought shit to the hip factory december 2019 i guess he must have started fucking you in february because that's when i know that somebody else who's famous that you fucked who i will not expose was hit up and asked if it was okay if he fucked you too Please stop fucking lying, trying to clear your name as if this shit is kosher and you didn't know any fucking better because I will keep pulling receipts. I will keep pulling them and I have them. The only reason why I don't just put them on blast is because people tell me this information. I'm not trying to throw them in the mix publicly because these are well-known people that be telling me this shit, but I can if I fucking really need to. You know the shit is true. Don't make me pull up receipts, bitch. Keep it cute and tell your family to get the fuck off their stories trying to sub me about shit that they should not be concerned with so i guess the girl that he fucked that he said please please you need to take this plan b i'm having a boy i have a girl don't ruin my life she takes the plan b and then next thing you know a week later boom it's in the press i'm pregnant and I'm having a boy. Mind you, this motherfucker wanted to blame me at the time and say my people must have leaked it to the press. But it was really that you're just trifling and some slut bucket that you uh, dumped a fucking load of cum in, in my ass and made take a plan B. Ran to the blogs and told them this shit. Crazy. The thing is this, if you want to be a hoe and if you want to be a groupie, be a hoe and a groupie. Like, say that shit. Be that shit. I really, I really do not fuck with bitches that pretend like they came in some kosher situation and are innocent and did the right thing. Y'all are the most unkosher trash bucket bitches of all time. You you fucked a man who not only has a pregnant girlfriend, but your best friend was fucking raw in Miami. Like what kind of man do you think this even is? You y'all know. But y'all defending this man and going up for him. That's wild as fuck. You really are dumb as fuck. Like, yo, that's crazy.